Hey guys, it's Chris Bait with Cheat the Game coming back at you. Today we're going to be retaking a look quickly at the Cheat Engine help section. Now, if you got the new Cheat Engine 7.1, uh, there's been some things updated, and we're going to go back to these uh, Cheat Engine tutorial levels that Darkbike created. And what we're going to mainly take a look at is the integrity check because Darkbike has gone in there and fixed it. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, there was a video online here. That showed you how to patch it uh, by modifying a jump in the integrity check itself. Well, that no longer works, and we have to figure out another way to do that. So right off the bat, I'm going to throw a huge shout out to uh, the guy at Hacking website. And on this thread right here, uh, I hope I pronounced it correctly, Lizentra, Zalentra1. I came across his post right here, which I will put a link for this down in the description. Go read it. And it gave me a good idea in regards to looking for integrity check flag. There has to be a flag set uh, once the integrity check has triggered. So if it doesn't slam you down right away, then you can possibly find this flag. And that's what we did to find it here. Now, it does not work in all games, but it is something else you could possibly try to find. Well, like I say, it's a very risky thing to do in a game because usually if that flag is triggered, it's going to slam you, slam you down right away. But we found a way to get past the Cheat Engine tutorial uh, integrity check uh, where you can go through all your levels and still be able to use your hacks. I'm going to show you uh, one specific way to do this. Hopefully later I can come out with another way without having to use Stealth Edit or you know just some of the ones we've been using and uh, see if we can also do other ways of bypassing this integrity also but for this lesson we're going to bypass the integrity check flag okay first off i'm going to show you what it's doing so we kind of study the integrity you always want to study the integrity check before you go in there and try to start messing with it and you kind of understand how to attack it a little better so when we go turn our game cheats on we see that on this screen we get this integrity check error pops up we turn it back off it goes away so now we've already got uh, a mode of looking for something of a pass and a fail this is when it's failing and this is when it's passing and there's got to be a flag being set when that happens but I want to show you what it does on 7.1 and it may work a little different for you but uh, I'm going in level 2 now I'll turn my cheats on, then we go to the next one where we got infinite health and take away a lot of enemy health. And as soon as I take some damage or something, boom. Uh, we're totally out of it. So let me go ahead and bring this back up. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and look for that flag that's constantly being checked. And we're going to see if we can uh, manipulate that flag to where we pass that integrity check. So I'll be right back. Okay, so bringing everything back up, we're going to go ahead and see if we can find that flag. We'll go ahead and put it on bite. And we're just going to assume we don't really know uh, what the numbers are, to be honest with you. But just to save us a little time, this is the trial and error process. We're just going to assume that 1 equals okay and 0 not okay. And we're going to search under that premise. And uh, having already done this i'm tell you that's what it is but when you don't know you're going to do a trial and error method that's going to take you a lot longer and you just have to go in there experiment but for right now we're going to assume everything is okay and we're going to search for the exact value of one now what we're going to do is come over here and we're going to trigger that integrity check and you can see it's been triggered by the error message up here okay so now we know that value's changed. So I'm going to go ahead and click changed. I'm using my hotkeys, by the way. So when you, uh, you need to set your hotkeys, go to edit settings, hotkeys. And the ones I use the most are increased value, decreased value, changed, and unchanged. And I'll set those to hotkeys. So we know that the value's changed. And I've already clicked changed. And now I'm going to hit unchanged and see if we can weed these down a little bit. All right, so let's change the value again changed and we just rinse wash and repeat until we get down to a few we can test and look we've already come down to three so let's see if that's part of it yeah that looks good and what I'm looking for is I'm looking for one that's constantly being accessed constantly being read don't have one there now does it always have to be constantly accessed no but a lot of times that's what you're going to find that one's not constantly being accessed. Let's see about this one. 
Ah, here we go. This one's constantly being accessed. So, you know, it's checking a byte to see when that thing is set or changed when we mash the thing. So let's see if any other opcodes pop up. No, it did not. So we know that that's probably it. And if we were to put the uh, debugger on these other two, this is only being affected when the flags actually change. So when I do that, any one of these can possibly lead you to that location. But for now, we want to take a look at the one that's constantly being accessed. And you see right here, set if equal, set the byte. And that's a conditional change. It's like a move or change the byte if this compare it's only changing that byte when it meets the condition set so what we want to do we don't want to change the byte at all we're just going to replace it with a code that does nothing and just knock it out and we're going to see if that changes anything so we're going to go back and test it right off the bat we're going to take a look up here let's turn it on we'll take a look we do not have our error message anymore that means that that address is always staying one so it didn't change to zero let's turn on our infinite health and let's just go check it we pass that scenario normally it sometimes freezes on that let's go up here and see what this does and take a look we're not crashing down all right so it looks like we passed the scenario now we're on level three let's see if we can just go write the script for it what i want to do is i want to restore with the original value and you see once we do that the value changes back to zero and that one's no good anyway that stayed one so it looks like that's the correct one so we need that to always be one so all we're going to do is the direct byte manipulation. So let's go ahead and auto assemble, AOB injection, and we're just going to put uh, cheat engine bypass one, just to let us know that this is the integrity check bypass. And maybe I shouldn't use cheat engine because look what it did. I'm just going to use it as bypass one. Let's take that back out. When I see it in green, I don't like looking at that something might screw it up it's it's reading it as a in the green it means it's reading it as a byte so i don't i don't want to do that so let's just call it bypass one that's what we're going to call it so make sure you change it everywhere all right let's go ahead and we can take all this mess out we don't need that let's go ahead and keep our register symbol i'm going to cut and paste it up here let's bring that back down here now what we're going to do is knock out these four bytes because that'll be the set byte if equal. So we don't need the last two bytes at all. Actually, I don't need to copy that. I'm just uh, define a, a byte. We got one, two, three, four. Take out the dialic min, new min, and make sure we leave that as the unregistered when we turn it off so that should be okay and what that should do is knock it out so what we're going to do is bring this over here and bypass integrity check 7.1 that's for cheating in 7.1 all right let's bring that back down and uh let's bring up a whole new one and then we'll check it this way Attach it to the game. All right, so let's turn on our uh, integrity check bypass first. Now let's turn on our codes. Let's go through it and take a look. It's not appearing. Let's take a look here. Look at that. It's knocked out, so we know it's working. Let's just make sure. Let's go to uh, shoot over at level three. Oh, well, it just took us there, so that's that's okay. And I need to I need to uh, refine my codes for that. If you take a look, it's on my channel. I'll show you how to do that. But let's go back to the beginning. I should I should have just went to level two. Let's just redo that. Actually, let's just start at level one. I should have just been starting there in the first place. 
let's just go to level one. Oh, let's turn on our bypass integrity check. Now let's turn on our two codes. That should take us to level one all the way up to level three. And you see we don't get the error message. Good, 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 good. So we have bypassed the integrity check. So awesome. All right, guys. I want to uh, go ahead and thank God at Hacking and also uh, Zalentra uh, for this bit of information. It worked wonderfully. So, uh, and that's I recommend that when you do have questions about game hacking, come over here to God at Hacking. More than likely, they've already been discussing it at one point in time. Great bunch of game hackers hang out here. So come, and most of your questions, I promise you, are already answered on this site. So come over here and check them out when you have some questions. I'm going to go ahead and thank my pro uh, partners right quick. These guys keep cheap the game running. Without these guys, I would have to fold up a long time ago. From the bottom of my heart, guys, thank you so much for your continued donations and contributions each and every month to keep cheap the game running. Because you guys cheap the game is still here. So thank you so much. And I also want to thank all of you to come watching the videos, placing likes on it. It's really appreciated. It really helps me out a lot. So thank you for your continued support also. Uh, we all have been growing together, and we want to continue to grow with you guys and everything. We want to welcome you as part of the CTG family. So come visit us over at our Facebook page as well as Discord channel. We're trying to get our website back up. Uh, we got to look into it for right now, but it's down for the time being, but we'll get it back up soon. I'm going to go ahead and cut on out of here. I'm still going to work on some more stuff, so I hope we can come out with some new vids uh, this week. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. I'll talk to you guys later, so you all take care. Keep on hacking. Most importantly, please enjoy yourself. That's really what it's all about. You cheat the game, fellas, because believe me, it doesn't mind cheating you. You all take care.